Idubs. I predicted that Idubs will have a cuckold baby with Anisa. Um, this is actually an interesting. I, I was wrong. She did not have a cuckold baby, uh, to be clear. But my the alignment is forming. I maybe I might have to. You know, I'm gonna maintain. I'm gonna spoil it. My prediction for 2024 is the same thing. I was just a little bit off. I was close though. Um, Anisa put out this zit. Uh, in March, uh, indicating that I might be tr I might be on the up and up with my prediction. She says the 29 year old experience is just constantly changing your mind on whether or not you want a child every other day. So it's in her head, in that big ugly head of hers. There is the thought of having a child bouncing around. She's now 30. She's seeing other people in her sphere get married. Spoiler alert. She sees other people in her sphere having babies. Spoiler alert. Um, but she herself, uh, no babies. Now she's interested in it. Um, the, to complicate things further, her sister is pregnant. I'm not sure if it's a younger sister or older sister. But, you know, that's, that's pretty fucking dreadful. Because now your family's going to be looking at you, especially if it's a younger sister. Like, oh, you've been married for a while. Where's your baby at? She's like, oh. You don't understand. My husband is a pathetic cuckold that I have no respect for. I don't want to get pregnant with him. And so she has to figure out some other way. But if she doesn't want to have Idubs' child, and I'm sure Idubs would cope and sneeze that he doesn't want to pass on his genes for whatever reason, because he has daddy issues, how could she have a baby and comply with that, that need, that biological deterrent from having a child with Idubs? A third person is, is involved, chat. And that would therefore complete my prediction. So I will carry this prediction on into 2024. Um, it's the only logical conclusion. Uh, instead of having a child um, with Idubs, she decided to instead inexplicably announce to the world that her husband, Idubs, is fecally incontinent. Well, I want to ask Rajor a question first. Okay. Rajor. Wait, we should get Rajor in here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you can. Well, if you can. I just want I to ask him if you've always been shitting your pants. No. Because since I've known you, you've always had, like, IBS. You've always been shitting yourself. Yeah, well. I love that face. Look at that face. Look at that had, face. like, the IBS. Listen, he, just, he knows yourself. what's coming. Yeah, well. His, his face is the perfect um, anthropomorphization of that vine boom sound effect accompanied with the Ma the Maori head. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. The fucking stone head, the Easter Island statue, stone head appears and goes boom. Like that's literally, you can just hear that happening. Hold up. Hold up, hold up. No. Because since I've known you, you've Wait. always... Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you can. Well, if you can. I just want I to ask you him can. if you've always been shitting your pants. Because no. since I've known you, you've always had, like, the IBS. You've always been shitting yourself. Yeah, well. Perfect. It just it just works. It's so perfect. <laughs> uh, um, so, yes, I predict, again, for 2024, that... Idubs will have a cuckold baby with Aniza. There is no way they're splitting apart. What's really funny is um, I saw this just fucking around. I went to her profile. Her name is Aniza the Greasy, which is perfect. But she describes herself as a boxing promoter married to a boxer, which is just pathetic. <laughs> I'm trying to think. It's like I'm trying to imagine what I could call myself that would be an allegory for Anisa and Idubs describing themselves as professional boxers. What's what's something that I've done like one time that I wasn't even good at that I could call myself like a professional of? Um a lawyer? <laughs> legal 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 analysis it's like if i suddenly decided yeah i'm a legal analysis okay uh, or analysis 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 how do you pronounce that word i think i'm saying that right i don't know it's hard for me to say that's not right chinese cheese knower professional chef professional sneeder i am a professional sneeder 
Oh yeah, H H image board developer. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> it's like um, it's uh, it's it's kind of like you know what it is. I'm trying to trying to figure out how to say this without doxing or revealing specific information about specific people that I know. But have you ever met known somebody who has like a real day job that pays the bills, but then they also are exploring like setting up their own business. So they work 40 hours or more a week doing something really menial that's common that most people do. But then when they introduce themselves and they people ask, "Hey, what do you do?" They say, "Oh, I'm a," and then it's like their their startup company that doesn't make any money and hasn't really taken off yet. It's like that. Um, it's, it's like, that's all women. <laughs> I laugh because it, it's a woman that I'm thinking of, but yeah, it's like that. It's a, it's very similar. Am I describing you? Hey man, keep it up. That's that, that's that, uh, materialization. It works. You just gotta, you just, you just gotta, you just gotta keep at it. It's a thing that people do though. You know what I mean? Anyways. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.